Hey guys, I'm welcome back to another video of Spark Flux. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this spring. Uh, basically, one of my subscribers had emailed me and he's asked me to make a tutorial on how to make this spring in Fusion 360. So I have tried my uh, best to make this. Uh, do let me know if I make any mistake while making it, it this spring in Fusion 360. So we will start. As you guys can see, here's the 2D drawing. You can find the link of this link of this file in the description below. So you can check that out. So you can see the total length. Uh, first of all, I, I will be neglecting all the tolerances. I will just be working on the original dimension. So from this point to this point, the dimension is 255 mm. The spring itself is 135 mm and the 15 represents the pitch. As you guys can see, this represents the pitch of the spring. And so basically we have input as the height of the coil is 135 and the pitch is 1. Uh, 15 uh, just forget about the 255 we, we can deal it with the later part of the video now here you can see the coil diameter the outside diameter of coil is 38 the inside is 18.8 uh, and that means if we just minus it uh, so that the coil diameter will be around 9.6 mm uh, dia uh, as you guys can see here uh, the distance from this point to this point is 14.2 and inside that the coil is hollow so the inside uh, dia of the coil is 9.525 and the outside is of course 9.6 if you just subtract 38 from 18.08 so that that will, will be used uh, the you just forgot about the, the let's just consider that spring is uh, solid for now so we will start by making some sketches so switch to new workspace and go to create and uh, let me just recall the dia so as you guys can see uh, the dia here is out more outermost is 38.2 and the inner one is 18.8 and if we just subtract it uh, the you can see uh, the the distance the center distance of the coil from this point is 14.2 so that means that the center distance center circle of this point is going to be 14.2 multiplied by 2 that is 28.4 so the uh, we are going to make a coil so go to coil and on the front plane start by drawing a circle of 28.4 mm dia like this and we are going to make an height and pitch type so dia is 28.4 height is going to be as you can see the height is 135 here so let's make it 135 okay i don't know why my keyboard is not working okay 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 something is wrong definitely wrong with my computer let's just give it a minute okay something was wrong with my system again we will start by making the spring again so go to coil and front plane draw a circle like this it will ask you about that dia so dia we have calculated as 28.4 so this is 28.4 the section size as i have told you the section size can be calculated by my subtracting 38.8.8 so section size is around 9.6 so make it 9.6 like this the pitch is 15 and the height and the height is going to be 135 like this so we have a height 135 dia uh, the dia is 128 the cylindrical on center and the, this is going to be our new component or you can just make it in a new body for now and press ok now as you guys can see the spring is extended to a straight profile on just 90 uh, 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 where the coil ends at this point so what I'm going to do is create an sketch on the bottom plane of course and this is where the your helix is ending so I'm going to construct a circle over here so press C for circle and make a circle in construction mode and this circle is going to be of diameter you guys can see it's 14.2 so 20 
28.4 so press C again and right on top of this point make a uh, switch of the construction mode and make a dia of 9.6 like just uh, exactly the shape of this profile now finish the sketch and extrude this downwards without a, any dimension right of course so now one thing that this drawing is missing is the dimension from this point the end of the coil to this particular point so as this dimension is missing so we will assume this dimension on your on our own so what i'm going to do is if i just click on press pull and select this face and drag it upwards what i'm going to do i'm going to just lower it profile so that i so that this distance can be moved uh, to make the beautiful uh, bend here so just make sure uh, it is enough for a beautiful good curvature right okay this distance okay uh, yeah this distance seems fine to me uh, this would work and press ok now go to construct go to um, point at circle so click on this point and make a point here and repeat the same step for here now go to construct go to access through cendrical so we have an access created here and go to again go to access through perpendicular to point and face so face is going to be this and this is going to be our point so we have a, a two access with us now again go to create and click on any plane you want and just make the truder and from the sketch plate let's click on 3d sketch now go to fit point spline select this point and this point and right click and press ok make a point like this now go to parallel relationship click on the uh, control line and make it parallel to this point and similarly make this one parallel to this one now you can uh, ca make the tangency control the tangency of this line if i just uh, let me just hide the construction line for now so uh, you can guys can, can calculate um, change the tangency of this line from this point now if i just switch back to bottom view make sure that this curve is right on center of this line because if it not then while making a sweep between these two profile the, your spring will get uh, here and there so basically uh, if you guys know uh, um, of more uh, accurate way of making this profile uh, so please let me know in the comment but what i'm going to do is i'm manually going to change it so press d again and this line is the tension line so if i just make it five and press enter you guys can see it alters the shape of the line so let's make it seven for now or oh, six seems fine and now for this point this also needs to be up, more upwards so let's just select this line and make it seven let's see seven and just now go to bottom okay seven seems fine it's not actually in the way okay let's make it this two make let's make this seven two so we have a line here and now it seems pretty good it's uh, in the center uh, uh, okay this this seems to be work this this will work now just finish the sketch uh, remember you can control the spline at any time uh, go to pipe go to pipe select this one the operation would be join of course section size is 9.6 and press ok now we have a uh, two different bodies one and here okay 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 the second thing is before making the join just hide this first body so that it get joined with this one 
now we have a one body we have second body here two bodies press shift and n to enables the colors so we have a two different bodies with us now now what i'm going to do is from the origin as you guys can see the distance from this point to this point was 135 so i'm going to create a mid plane there so mid plane is going to be offset at a distance of 135 divided by 2 so we have a mid plane here now go to mirror select this body and mirror plane is going to be this one and like this now again go to mirror go to mirror select this body and mirror plane is as this one and this is going to be our new body and press ok now hide this body now hide that body and we have a, a spring structure here now click on combine select this profile this profile this profile click on new tool and new body and just hide the old body and we have got our new component here now click on create a sketch and front plane make a rectangle like this now we are going to maintain the 255 mm size so as d for dimension make it 255 as you guys can see this was our original origin so i'm going to make a 135 mm line and press l again and from the center line we are going to make a center line here press symmetry and make this symmetry to this line now again draw another big circle that co completes our sketch and finish the sketch now extrude cut make this as symmetry and extrude cut this profile like this and just hide the constructions and the origin plane now press a for appearance <coughs> and you can choose uh, whatever appearance that you want my personal favorite is mirror so just search for mirror and okay so just shift, shift and n to disable the colors now you guys can see we have a, a spring uh, that uh, looks like this drawing now if i just go to top view just to check whether we have created that arc uh, in good condition or not so you guys can see it's 99 percent accurate although you guys can see here's a little bit distortion you so that can be avoided uh, by any time just by editing the sketch and altering the tangency of this spline here so for now this spring would work this is the i think this is more than accurate so hope you guys will enjoy don't forget to share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day